Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review, another revisit review for another anniversary revisit review, and now I'm revisiting one of my all-time favorite horror films, and one of the scariest films I've, that I grew up seeing, and since considering that the new Halloween just, that just came out, so considering how it's 40 years... So yep, obviously I'm reviewing the 40th anniversary of me revisiting of one of the one of the most classic films of the horror films of all time, John Carpenter's Halloween. Yep, one of my favorite. Uh, yep, my well, my favorite film of John Carpenter is The Thing. Though this is the, this is the anyone who says for it to, for it to John Carpenter, his two best films is easily Halloween or The Thing. John Carpenter, The Thing, number one, and then number two though still. But they're both exactly even enough for me, though. But still, but slight fraction, though. But John Carpenter's Halloween. What more can I say? It's an all-time classic. Of course, what I have here is the 25th anniversary edition of Halloween. So that makes it from 2003, 25 years. But uh, what more can I say about John Carpenter's Halloween? I know I'll I'll I'll, I'll get to some time of the new of the new one that came out though. But more on that later. But just focus on this one. I mean, Michael Myers, classic, almost iconic char characters ever, especially in the horror films. Next to Freddy and Jason, of course. Leatherface, Pinhead, Chucky. But see, but uh, but Leatherface was first, though, because like, I was seventy four. But this came out, and this one, were, like, when this came out, this like kind of like a little bit defined the the slasher film of the slasher film genre. And John Carpenter, one of my favorite, one of my favorite directors of all time, top three without a doubt. Um, you know, just I think it was it was it was also the also um per the uh, where was it um I think it was the, it was the writer. And yeah, I think it was I think it was the writer who came with the the title of the film. Which the concept like you know the called the babysitter murders, um, what was it Irwin and yeah, Blands I think it was or I think there was another producer as well, but Mustafa Akkad as well. Well, he didn't come up, but Mustafa Akkad helped come up, um, been a producer like of all most of the, most of all these Halloween films, and I know he's no longer with us, but sadly, but. You know, there's a title originally was called the babysitter murders, but uh, Halloween much more fitting title. Great cast for our two leads. Donald Pleasance is Doctor as classic as Doctor Loomis, Sam Loomis, Jamie Lee Curtis is Laurie Strode, and great. So it is great two leads. Great directed by John Carpenter, and also Adam forget producer Deborah Hill as well. Everything I want to say about it is great about it. Is you know from from the very first open from the everything about most of all this is very is very practically memorable. From the opening sequence of my, little Michael Myers, from his point of view, how it's all like done in one shot, you know, just all done in one shot, just keep on going, and from him murdering his older sister and getting, getting in the clown costume, and then you know, 1963 on Halloween night, and then 15 years later in '78, and you know, Donald Pleasance, the Sam Loomis, they're going to transfer him. But then they get to the, get to the mental institution. It's cold and rainy, and they see all the patients coming out. And he goes up to the gate, and the nurse Marion Chambers, Michael Myers, st steals the car. And you know, it's like when 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 Donald Pleasant, you know, when when Marion Chambers says like, "Do you prefer, you prefer it as a him more than it?" And he's like, "If you say so." And he's like, "And he's gone. The evil is gone." And he calls him it, and he's first says, "Evil is gone." <laughs> So, and just really well directed by John Carpenter, and and just what was it more to what more can I say about it? And and one of the things that scared me was I was saw I saw this when I was very little. It was very scary. What made the film not only Michael Myers was scary enough to scare me when I was a kid though, but it was also John Carpenter's mem memorable music as well. Lo always loved the music. This was one of the most memorable things I loved. Gro I remember growing up was John Carpenter's music. From the dun 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 dun, dun or even the, the the little shrieking sounds like ew, 
or whatever, you know. This is one of the things that scared me was just, was definitely was John Carpenter's music. And we all know this. And we all know the story. Laurie Strode, you know, babysitting the Tommy Doyle and uh, Michael Myers stalking and I don't know. This is this, 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 this is very quick because I we all know the story of Halloween. Everything you know from you know from Bob being killed, you know, being strung, uh, stuck and hung there. Michael doing the classic head tilting, or you know, Nancy uh, Loomis as Annie, you know, choked and cut in the car, and P.J. Souls as Linda. Um, you know, everything that was, that was another thing that was scary about was what scared me was Michael Myers the bed sheet with the glasses is another very memorable scene that scared me when I was little. I remember it was years back, you know, when I was like, it was like five, six. It shows how good of a film and how scary it was. It was only like two films like I remember that scared me it was this film and the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, I have another one from from the late great Toby Hooper and Gunner Lake Gunner Hansen his leather face. Yeah. But um and then Laurie Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis goes over there and then her scene um, Annie's body with the grave of Judith Myers, and you know her, you know Jamie Curtis becoming one of the scream queens, her screaming and falling down the stairs and, dun, da da, da, da da, that which that was um, that was that was the one that scared me the most was how da, da da, ding 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 da da, da. <laughs> um, and then you stab Michael Myers with a needle and then. Uh, getting uh, attacked in the closet, you know, Michael Myers with the famous William Shatner mask, and um, then you know, Cho and Choke goes a choke. Well, first when he first when he lies down, then he all of a sudden just rises up silently, and then Choke and Laura Strode they pulls up the mask. You see a glimpse of Michael Myers's face, and then Donald Pleasance shooting him six times, falling off the balcony. Then when he goes up to look disappears John Carpenter's music and before you know Jamie Lee famous thing was that the boogeyman and then Donald Pleasing as a matter of fact it was so this is this is this is this is a much of a um because I don't need to go into this because everything about this film everyone has heard about the film everyone what's memorable and classic about it from John Carpenter's directing the music the Michael Myers character himself how he is you know with the head tilting and the body movements and just stalking the mask or even what the the bed sheet the bed sheet the, the ghost of the bed sheet with the glasses or um um what else is there just or even the POV even the POV the opening of the POV shots and then with Donald Pleasance's character and um Jamie Lee Curtis those two were just those two were just excellent, and the supporting cast members were good too as well. And all this easy, it's, it's easily fast paced. It's ninety one minutes, but it was just easily fast paced. Went through like that, and especially it was it was a huge hit back then. Basically on a shoestring budget of what three hundred fifty thousand dollars, and it made about what seventy seventy five million. Definitely a huge hit back in nineteen seventy eight. Definitely, it just with it, it shows you could work with a. It was a simple, straight story, but very effective. Because simple can be very effective a lot in a lot of ways. But you know, there are films that can be that can be kind of complex stories, though. But you know, the same simple yet effective. And then it was it was it was a straightforward story, very effective because definitely effective because it scared a lot of people back in the day, you know. And it certainly scared me because it was basically due to obviously Michael Myers, but also due to the Mike, uh, John Carpenter's music and the scares as well. So, yeah. So Halloween, 1978, one of the most memorable horror films of all time. Classic uh, characters like Dr. Loomis, Laurie Strode. Great job by excellent performances by Donald Pleasance and Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, great, always the great direction by John Carpenter. Well directed. Um, and of course, with his 25th anniversary, um, has. The first is, has another commentary with John Carpenter, Jamie Lee Curtis, and producer Deborah Hill. Second disc has Halloween, a cut above the rest, all new 87 minute documentary featuring interviews with director John Carpenter, Jamie Lee Curtis, PJ Souls, who played uh, Linda, Nick Castle, who played Michael Myers, um, Charles uh, Cyphers, who played um, Sheriff, um, Sheriff Brackett, 
um, producer Deborah Hill, director of photography Dean Cundy, editor, production designer Tommy Lee Wallace, who I think for one scene he played Michael Myers, I think when he stabbed Lori before she went fell down the stairs. But also you go going to direct um, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, as well as um, Fright Night Part 2, Tommy Lee Wallace. Also with Exodic producer Erwin Yemblens, uh, Mustafa Akkad, on location 25 years later, an all-new 10-minute uh, featurette with actress PJ Souls and producer Deborah Hill, revisiting the old original Michael Myers house, trailer, TV spots, radio spots, posters, still gravity, so a bunch of features, so, which I'm perfectly fine with, but, um, yeah, Halloween, what more can I say, I love this film to death, and just pure classic, memorable, it's a horror, it's a horror masterpiece, I was gonna say, a horror masterpiece by the master of horror himself, John Carpenter. The, th the thing, this film, I don't know why I get praise more, but, and to see there's just spawn sequels, you know, Halloween 2, 1981, great sequel, um, I know Halloween 3 Season of the Witch gets hated on a lot, but I like Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, I just wish it was never part of this franchise because it could have been a standalone story problem I have with this. This should not have been part of this franchise. But I'll get into the new Halloween film sometime later though, but I just want to talk about how memorable and classic this is. But uh, yeah, for, 40th anniversary of John Carpenter's Halloween. Still to this day, classic, memorable, a horror masterpiece. Two thumbs up without a doubt. Thanks for watching and stay tuned on the next movie review. Later.